With me today is Christy Farnbaugh, Executive Director of CatCo. Christy, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Kate. I'm glad to have you here, and I'm so excited to learn more about CatCo. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it and maybe something not everybody knows? Sure. So uh, CatCo was founded uh, 38 years ago. Wow, that is quite uh, a long, long time. history, right? As, as sort of the scrappy, new, avant-garde, against the trend kind of theater, uh -huh. company, right? And so all these years later, we're still kind of leaning into that. Um, the, the CatCo uh, originally stood for the Contemporary American Theater Company, which a lot of people don't know. I, I'm not, I will admit I did not know that. <laughs> right. And then in, um, in 2010, they merged with Phoenix Theater for Children. So half of our mission is focused on children. Oh, wonderful. The theater in the schools and across the community. And then we used the time uh, during, the, during the pandemic to really think about what, what did the future look like and what was our vision and our purpose going forward. Mm -hmm. So our purpose now is to harness the, the transformational power of theater um, connected to the current moment, current trend, uh, needs in our community, um, and work on inspiring uh, empathy through, this, through storytelling. Oh, that's so important. So, what a wonderful yeah. mission. I think what people would find is if you, if you think you know CatCo from the past, you actually really don't, because mm -hmm. nothing is the same at CatCo right. as, it, as it was it. prior to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. with, that's with a lot of things. Right. But new artistic vision, new leadership, uh, new programming, so it's all, it's fresh and new and yeah, we got to get out there and see it. it. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to get cooking. Why don't you tell me about the recipe you've chosen and, and why it's special to you? Yeah, so I, I have chosen this recipe of couscous. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple recipe. I love couscous. Uh, the truth of the matter is I love pine nuts and there are pine nuts in this recipe. I mean, that is a good reason. Uh, and it was given to me by my dear friend Carol Argero, uh, who was all, is also was an art, she's not right now, but she was an arts administrator when we met uh, mm -hmm. 15, 20 years ago. Uh, and we have just become fast friends and our, fa our family are friends and Carol's an amazing cook, like probably better than me. Mm -hmm. And um, she makes this recipe often when we would visit because it's so, it's kind of make ahead, uh -huh. you can let it sit on the stove until oh, you're ready that. to go. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's this mix of sort of savory and sweet um, and super simple and healthy. And I love the idea of friends sharing recipes. I yeah. think that's a great way to yeah. stay connected too. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell us what ingredients we need? So today for this recipe, you're going to need 32 ounces of chicken or vegetable broth, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half cups of plain couscous, one and a half cups of golden raisin, one and a half cups of pine nuts, seven green onions, and a half a cup of butter. Okay, so what's the first step for the couscous? Yeah, so the first step is take your carton of broth, chicken or vegetable broth, mm -hmm. and, and pour it in a nice big pan. We've done that. Yes. Um, and then uh, turn on your burner. Okay. And start your start your burner. Start your engines. Right. Here we go. Yeah, so that'll come to Got a nice flame on. Nice boil. And then add the add the salt. Okay. So our salt is, is pre measured. So you shake that in there. Great. Right. And then you really just um, cover the pot. And, and let that come to a boil. So you got a little time. You know, a little okay. time. You could um, chop the onions or do something right. else during Good that thing time. We've, we've already organized we, we've it done all that, for us. right? But well, you great. could use this time to prep more work. More yeah, ingredients. absolutely. Well, while we're waiting for that to boil, why don't you tell me about the impact of storytelling and how CatCo strives to shine a light on issues that matter? Sure. So you know, theater and theatrical storytelling are is a really wonderful way into issues, mm -hmm. big, hairy, thorny issues in communities. So, so take an issue that's really important in Columbus, like affordable housing, right, and the need for that. And so, you know, we haven't yet, but we could we could produce a show that that's around that issue, right? And I often say, I can't build the house, right? I can't solve the big problem. But we can tell the story and bring people together and, and let them talk about and understand the issue through a different lens, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not going to physically build the house, but I'm going to make the space to have the conversation for why the house is important, right? That's a really good way to put it. You're kind of providing this access point right. through theater. Right. Incredible. Yeah. And, and then building empathy. Like mm -hmm. you, uh, you can't care about something or an issue until you know about it. Mm -hmm. And so through a play or through a story, you're kind of like your consciousness raised. You you feel empathy toward a character, you get to put yourself in someone else's shoes, you get to suspend, you know, belief, right? There's a little theater magic that goes on mm -hmm. and, you, and you can suspend belief for a little while, right? Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's really the power of what we call transformational storytelling. That's amazing. It sounds like it's really effective. Thanks. Well, we, we think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like our broth is boiling nicely. What it should does. we do next? Well, the next step is to turn off the burner. Okay. Right, turn off the, off the fire. Mm -hmm. And then we add our couscous, okay. which is we have pre-measured out here. So it's going to sit in the hot broth. It is going to okay. sit in the hot broth, yeah. 
And then we'll add the raisins. Lovely. Oh, simple, right? Get those all in there. And then we're just going to give it a little stir. And it'll just soak it all up. And it up. just soaks it up. So we're going to cover it and we're going to let it sit for at least 15 minutes. Okay. If you're making this at home, it can sit up to an hour if you want it oh, to. Oh, nice. So you really could make this ahead and ready. walk you away. You totally can make it ahead. If you're, and, then, and then, you know, when you, after you've had some appetizers and some wine, you can Tons get it ready to go. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. When does the butter come into play? Well, next we're going to melt well, we're gonna melt the butter. Okay. We'll have the butter ready. Right? I'm like, the what? Butter I'm and excited the, about yeah, the butter. The, well, who's not, right? A stick of butter. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like Queen of Paula Deen. Right. <laughs> so while the couscous absorbs all the delicious flavors, why don't you tell me a little bit more about Catco's mission? Yeah. So, you know, one of the things we're really committed to is producing and supporting new work. So as a contemporary theater company, right, you may see something at Catco you've never seen. Brand new play, brand new playwright, local playwright. So we're really committed to doing that for adults as well as for young people. So we make what we call theater for young audiences, which are really uh, family shows, right? Um, and, and, we're, and we're committed to new work for young audiences. There isn't always a lot of, of new work for, for children and That's families, true. right? So when, when Steven Anderson retired, Steven had, has made theater in Columbus for 45 years. He was the um, man, producing artistic director of CatCo for 10. Um, when he retired, uh, the board and a whole bunch of his friends in town uh, created an endowment fund at the Columbus Foundation called the Steven C. Anderson Fund for New Work for Young Audiences. Oh, wonderful. So in time, you know, we've got a little base of funding there, uh -huh. and in time, be able to take that to, to produce new work for, for young audiences. So That's incredible. Um, we've, we've done a little bit of that in the past. We've done new works play festivals mm -hmm. and, and let audiences see plays in the development from right uh, script being worked on in, in the moment with the actors all the way to almost ready to full production. And then it's our goal to produce some of those some of those new works. And you know ideally hopefully they get they are they're born here and they're and they're created here and then they go somewhere else in the country and are and are performed as yeah, well. Yeah, what a great use of funding and yeah. to kind of celebrate his legacy as well. That's yeah. really wonderful. Yeah, really grateful that wow. um, we have that. Yeah. What are some other Catco initiatives that you're excited about? So, we started this year uh, a pay what you want. Well, we did it a little bit. So, last year was our first in in person season mm -hmm. after the pandemic. Sure. And and this year we've continued it. So, before the opening of every production, which is always on a Saturday night, the Thursday and Friday night of that show are what we call pay what you want. Oh. So it's a it's a zero barrier to entry, right? Yeah. We literally can show up that night and pay a dollar or pay nothing mm -hmm. or pay five hundred dollars. We'll take whatever you want right. to give us, right? <laughs> um, and we're so grateful to the Robert Weiler Company for sponsoring that for us. And so it really is a chance for people to try CatCo. Right. Again, I mentioned that it's new and mm -hmm. things are different, and so can come on one of those pay what you want right. nights. What do you have and, to lose? Um, and you'll probably end up loving it. Everything to lose, back. right? And and try it out and bring some friends and, and see if there's something that strikes your fancy. That is such a clever idea to yeah, kind of thanks. get people in and welcome them into yeah. the theater space. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Very cool. Well, it's smelling delicious. Should we check yeah, and see if it's all? Let's ooh, see. Oh, look at that. It absorbed all that liquid. It sure did. What do we do now? Well, next, we have melted our butter, our mm -hmm. stick of butter, and mm -hmm. we're just going to pour that in there. Nice. That always makes yeah, things delicious. Right. Let me just, you know, fluff mix it, over it all a together. Bit. Mix it all together. And then we're going to add those Should pine I add these? nuts. So add yeah. in our pine nuts. Add those pine nuts. Delicious. And, and the green, green onions. Green onions, yeah. A little pop of color. Very nice. So pretty. It really is. And so simple, and it sounds like you could make this ahead. You could, you could probably eat it warm or room temperature. Yeah, or if, yeah, cold is fine. Yeah, anything, I mean, yeah, if you, if you, you know, if you're gonna make it ahead, you just let it sit and then do these last, this last part. Yeah, um, when you're ready, when you're it ready looks to eat beautiful. It. So it's, it's ready to go. Well, it's just, it's come together so beautifully. I think we should eat it. I think we should give it a taste. I agree. Okay, <laughs> got some spoons here. We can Great. dish it up. Dish it up a little. Yeah. It's lovely. Pretty with that green onion in yeah. there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Here you go. Get your spoon. Here you go. Yeah, thank you. Okay. This looks wonderful. Okay, well you go for I think you should go first. Okay. Get a little raisin, <laughs> little pine nuts. Oh my goodness. That's really delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm so glad you like it. Mm hmm It's kind of hearty, kind mm -hmm. of cozy. Mm -hmm. The raisins are so plump and the green onions give it that little brightness. 
Yeah, oh, Chrissy, this is delicious. It's been so nice getting to know you and learning about Catco and eating this delicious couscous. Well, it's been great spending this time with you. Thank you.